All right, these are your reader's notebook pages for today. We're starting out on page 161, and we're just filling in the blanks with the words up here in the word box. The words are cider, fever, later, and virus. Cider is kind of like a hot juice, like apple cider. Um, it Most of the time, whenever you have cider, you drink it hot. Um, it says, Jack has a blank that makes him sick. Which one of these things will make you sick? You have a fever when you are sick, but the fever doesn't make you sick. It would be the virus. Mom says his blank is very high. His later, his fever, or his cider? Fever. You can sit with Jack blank today, said mom. Cider or later? Later. I'll warm up some blank for both of you, said mom. Cider. So pause if you need to finish those, and then we're moving on here. That kind of looks like rider. My C didn't go all the way. Write the words that make up each underlying contraction. I won't have lunch with Sam today, said Jack. Which two words make up that contraction? Will and not. We, won't say, we wouldn't say won't. We say won't, but it's will and not. Go ahead and do six and seven on your own. Pause this video to do so. Then when you're ready, flip over to page 162. You're gonna use your book for this. So go ahead if you need to pause and turn to page 379. Okay, we're gonna read pages 379 through 381. What did the cows tell Farmer Brown? Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. All right, so based on those pages, what did the cows tell Farmer Brown? Well, it says that they would like some electric blankets. So we can put the cows want electric blankets, period. And they are going on strike until they get them. Okay, you can pause to finish. Then I want you to read these pages and page 391. We do this a lot in class. It's just like your text dependent questions. We do one every week. And so I want you to practice looking in your book to find these answers. What did the hens want Farmer Brown to know? So you would turn to those that page. And if you want, you can go ahead and circle it like I did. And then you can see what the hens want as well and just write it in a complete sentence with a capital letter and a period. Pause to do that now. Then we're gonna look at page 163. It's a little different. Which was your favorite animal? What if Farmer Brown and the animal could talk to each other? What would they say? Use the examples from the text and illustrations you found to make a cartoon Use speech bubbles to show what Farmer Brown and the animal might say. So they want you to make a cartoon like that would maybe be in the newspaper. And there's three little boxes, so there would be three little things. So my favorite animal, hmm. Well, 
would probably be the ducks. And they wanted a diving board. So let's draw a little duck. Okay, and then your speech bubbles can kind of just be like this. We need a diving board. Okay, and maybe make some grass. This doesn't have to be real elaborate. And here's a pond. You can draw some what's supposed to be lily pads. <laughs> maybe some of that tall grass with the cattails on it. And some more little ducks. Just swimming in the pond, some fish. And they want a diving board, okay? So then you would draw a picture of the farmer and his response to whatever you set up here in your speech bubble. Now you don't have to pick the ducks. You can pick any animal in the book, okay? So this one's just kind of fun for you to do. There's no right or wrong answer. You just have to use the animals that are in the story. And those are your reader's notebook pages for today. Um, make sure that you are on our live meeting today from 3 o'clock to 4 if you have any questions about this.